Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on here and tell you um, how I am prepping for Q4 for Christmas. Um, this is my fourth year, this is my fourth Christmas season selling uh, and selling on Etsy. If you haven't seen our other videos, I'm pretty sure we have a video about this, but in our first Christmas season, we made $12,000 which uh, paid off our Glowforge that we had bought. At the time, our Glowforge was um, $5,500 and we bought it on payment plan and uh, paid it off within about six weeks. We had the money to pay off the Glowforge. I posted my very first, um, my hair this up. I posted my very first uh, item on Etsy at all, but it was a Christmas ornament. Um, on November 18th and from then until Christmas um, we made $12,000 so uh, and honestly I bought my Glowforge thinking I was just going to make a little extra money once it was paid for so three things that I'm doing this year going into my fourth Q4 season to prepare for the holiday first thing is I am cutting cost Already from, we have changed suppliers for one of our um, wood materials that we use a ton of at Christmas time, and actually two of our wood materials that we use a ton of at Christmas time. We have changed suppliers and we have cut that wood cost into about a fourth of what we were paying last year. So we will be selling the same or similar items, but we will make a lot more profit just off of our wood cost this year. Uh, you should always be trying to cut costs for sure, but especially going into Q4, I know like this is where we make the bulk of our sales for the entire year, and I do not want to waste any money. I want as much profit. Let me just, um, I want as much profit as I can have, especially during the Q4 season. So cutting costs um, that includes looking for cheaper materials but it also includes uh, making our processes more efficient. So um, training my employees, we have a handful of employees. I think we have five, not including myself and my husband. Um, so training is a huge part of that. If they know how to do it and they know how to do it well, then they'll do it quicker than something that they're not comfortable with. So simplifying our processes, anything we can do, if we're finding, you know, an issue, then um, we're going to try to fix that now and not wait until um, the middle of, December, of November to fix it. Another thing that we are doing is hiring. So last year, which was our biggest Christmas yet, um, that was our third Christmas. Last year, probably about mid-November is where I hired Christmas help. Uh, mid to late November and we were already drowning in Christmas um, orders and then I'm trying to train um, I mean I have new people that's, that have never done anything that we're doing trying to train them they're trying to get the feel for it um, while we're just swamped so this year I um, have a seasonal person starting when I have some seasonal people from last year I can call back on that have done it before so that helps, but I also have a new seasonal person starting uh, October 14th so that we have October to get them trained. And then typically our Christmas sales will start to pick up about mid-October, but not be too crazy. So we'll have about two weeks to get them trained. And um, so that when the crazy hits, they're just rocking and rolling. Okay, and then three is this year, um, I am pre-buying supplies. This is, I've never done this before. I've always just ordered basically as we've needed them. Like we're down to five sheets of wood. Let's, you know, order another thing of wood, but we are already like stacks of um, wood and we have already painted a lot of the wood that we know we're going to use. Anything that we can, that we can prep this year, we're prepping. Anything that makes sense for us to prep, um, Last year, you know, there's an ornament we sold 4,000 of that ornament. So I'm going ahead and I'm prepping 1,000 of those. Um, I'm a little risk adverse, like too risk adverse to like make 4,000 of them ahead of time. But just to give us a head start, 
on um, anything that will help us not get behind so that we can stay on top of our orders. I mean, the quicker you get it out, happier your customers are, the less messages you're gonna answer about where am I, where's my order at. Um, I'm saying um a lot, I'm sorry. So we are pre-buying wood, we are pre-painting boards, we are pre-cutting string. At this point, we have about a thousand strings cut for ornaments, about a thousand uh, ribbon bows cut for ornaments. So anything to make our process quicker when those orders pick up. Those are the main things that I'm doing to prep for Q4. So I'm excited. I am ready. Um, I'm just ready. So staying busy. I love being busy. So um, there's just kind of a rush in Q4 too. Like just all the orders coming in. It just feels nice. So this is really more of a video if you have done this before maybe even if you're just in your second year of what you would do because you kind of know what will sell for you what might not sell for you I'm gonna make another video for if this is your very first Christmas on Etsy if this is your very first Christmas just you know in your business what what would be the things I would do if this was my first year going into it so I will see you then